Hi crafters, welcome to Sasha K Creations. This is a cute little album I made with the Roses and Laces collection from Stamperia. It's a very easy and quick project, so if you're a beginner, you could definitely make this. This is the front cover where I added a little glossy accent to some of the small details on the paper. And I just used a few cutouts to decorate it. And this is the spine, plain and simple. And this is the back with another cutout. And as a closure, I made this little strap where I added a little metal clasp. Now let's see what's inside the album. The first page is on the inside of the cover. And this is a waterfall that I decorated with some of the cutouts. And for all of these pieces, I just used some of the scraps that I had left over from the collection. On the bottom is a small pocket and instead of cutting out all of these tags, I made some of them into little cards where you can write or maybe add some small photos. It's up to you. Now on the second page, I made this big envelope with a magnet closure where you can add some photos inside. And I just added this card I made with a big cutout piece from the collection that I just fold it, and in here you can also add some pictures. This piece was just too pretty for me to cut apart, so I chose to fold it instead. And then I just uh, made this little keyhole thing to keep it closed. And this piece fits perfectly into the envelope. There's a pocket between the pages and Inside the pocket is a big insert that I decorated also with some of the cutouts. You can open this up and add a photo on the inside. And I didn't glue the top of the clock all the way down so you can slide your photo down here. I didn't put anything on the other side yet because I wanted to wait and see um, if I could use some of the leftover scraps. Oh, and I also added some metal corners. On the third page, I made two big pockets to hold some photo mats or some cards. I only used six out of the ten sheets of paper in the collection, so you can make plenty of stuff to put in these pockets. I also left the middle part of this key open so you can use it as a talk spot. On the last page, I made a sideways waterfall. It's exactly the same as on the first page, but just sideways. And behind the last piece, I used another cutout to make a small pocket. And then I just added another one of these little cards I made from the text. And I think I forgot to mention on the first page, but both of these waterfalls are held down with magnets. I also forgot to mention the middle corners on the cover and in the tutorial I will of course show you how to put those on. I'm still working on the tutorial but I will of course upload it as soon as I'm done. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed.